Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the prep video for lesson 63 in this series on developing a survival game. In this prep video, we'll be talking about our sky atmosphere, and in particular, I am going to explain six nodes that exist as of Unreal 2.5. So sorry for a little bit of a jump there. I was copying and pasting these over from my uh, test file. So in our sky atmosphere, or with sky atmosphere, we have access to these six nodes. And we'll start at the top and I'll work our way down. So the first is our sky atmosphere lit luminance. Now I've included documentation that does exist around this, but it's very well, empty. Um, and what this really is, is the atmosphere intensity color of the light as it's hitting the atmosphere. So it's the intensity of the color as the light hits it. Then we have our gradient, which is a oh, sorry, uh, sky sphere view luminance, or sky atmosphere view luminance, which is a gradient as we, the observer on the ground, see it. Actually, it's the gradient as we see it even off the ground too, but that, that we'll talk about why I said on the ground in just a moment. The sky atmosphere light disk, it's a disc in the sky. I did not mean to hit F, I meant to hit G. It's the sun. Notice though at the end here, there's this zero. And that's because there are two light indexes, zero and one. So that you, in theory, you could you know, technically have two suns. I've never gotten that to work. Or a sun and a moon. So that is one way to do it. You'll also notice that your light has an assignment for what index it hits. Now, when you take these two, the sky atmosphere view luminance and the sky atmosphere light disc, and you add them together, you get the default sky that we see. So if I were to create this material, plant it in the world on our sky, we would get just this color. This is literally what we are seeing, is basically these two nodes combined together. So you can do things with it to change the, the look. Then we have the sky atmosphere aerial perspective. So it's the wide glow and tint. So notice that we have the main sort of glow there. We have all the wide stuff and how then we have the change in the tint on the atmosphere, on the sky in general as we move around. Um, that, that's all that is and we'll be using this one. Oh, I should not have said that, but hey, well, I'm gonna edit that out. Um, then we have the sky atmosphere distance light scattered luminance. And this is the uh, ambient tint of our atmosphere. So if we go to our sky atmosphere, it, it's our Rayleigh, if I understand this correctly. I could be wrong. It could be a combination of our Rayleigh, Mia, and absorption. But the way I understand this is this is our Rayleigh, or Raleigh, or whatever you say that. I'm sure somebody is cringing somewhere in the world. And then, honestly, this is my personal favorite one. This is really, really cool uh, one. Um, and this is the direction of light angle. So our sky atmosphere light direction. What this is, if we go here and I hit control L and then move my light, it's that. It's the direction at which our light is currently shining. So I'm just gonna reset my light back to my default usual uh, zero, negative 45, zero setting. And you can use this to determine if it's daytime or nighttime. Again, notice here we have the index. So it has to, it's looking at one of my particular lights. So in this case, index zero. All right, that takes us through everything we need to cover for this prep video. I look forward to seeing you in the tutorial proper and hope that you have a wonderful day.